Hi, I'm Tracy Lynn Ross and I'll be teaching a class called Beyond Watercolor Paper. Um, you don't always have to paint on watercolor paper. So I'm going to introduce watercolor grounds and watercolor canvases. Watercolor grounds offer advantages over paper in all sorts of ways. There's no warping, there's multitude of surfaces options. We have a box that you can paint on, wooden box. It's a cigar box. This one happens to be a gold watercolor ground. It has a slight shimmer to it. There is a pearlescent watercolor ground. And then there's the white watercolor ground. It also comes in black and transparent, which I haven't tried yet. Another advantage of watercolor grounds is that there's not a limit on size of paintings. So these back here, um, as you can see, are quite large and you don't have to frame or mat them, which is a great advantage in my opinion. You can buy watercolor canvases as well. This is the brand that I tend to use when I'm buying the watercolor canvases, but Fredericks also has one. I've understood that Hobby Lobby sells a great one as well, their own store brand of watercolor canvases. This is a painting I started, so I thought I'd show you real quick a couple little tricks that's kind of great with watercolor. Is One is you can scrub out as many times as you want, and I've scrubbed this a few times. I've decided to put a little hen down here in the corner, and so I just take a scrubbing brush and scrub out the color that I painted in the paper towel. And if the paint that was on it is a staining color, it won't go back completely to white. Um, if you do want to have it go back to completely to white, you just open up your watercolor ground, paint the white on there, and uh, wait till it dries, and paint uh, watercolor all over again. So, because I want this hen to be fairly light, I'm going to go ahead and add some more texture, dark texture, down into it the background around it. So I'm just adding some water. All the techniques that you um, use in with paper work the same way for this. So I'm just going to add some splatter my watercolor pencils. I find I have a little more control over it when I do it with the watercolor pencils than just splattering with my paintbrush. That can be done too. And the other thing is you can tilt your canvas, get it to run, um, make some really nice effects. And then I can go in and paint a new hen there. You can lift lots of things. So here's one. Go in and lift right back. So I can lift out right off. So if I want to, it goes pretty much light. So you can also use stencils, which are great fun. You can put those on, you can use stamps. So I can go in with this and lift off paint. I'm not gonna get this whole thing off. It takes a little bit of scrubbing time, but you can kind of get the idea. And you start to see some of the thing that's what this right here is working with but lifting is just a great great advantage to this the surfaces don't have the absorbency of watercolor paper so the pigment kind of rests on top one of the advantage of this is you have a lot more time to play with wet and wet surfaces techniques getting those colors to mingle Building up of washes, putting on um, layers on top of layers, doesn't work quite as well with this surface. So I hope you join me on April 27th from 9 to noon for exploring watercolor canvases, watercolor ground. You can either purchase a watercolor canvas all ready to go, or you can buy the watercolor ground and use it in all sorts of ways.